Okay, um, happy Monday. It's Monday, July 28th, and this is Candace. And um, I'm just waking up in the morning, so I'm not, like, dressed or showered or anything. So this is, like, the raw me. Um, but I, while it was on my mind, I did want to do a lock update because I haven't been on here for almost two months. So um, the last time I did a lock update was at my eight months. I think my eight months mark, and I was kind of glancing at that old video, and um, it was crazy to see how much my hair has changed since then. So um, I started locking on September 4th of 2013. Um, haven't combed or twisted or anything my hair since then. I've just been completely freeform. And I've stuck to pretty much the same routine. My routine hasn't really changed. I do a medicated shampoo about two or three times a week because I have seborrheic dermatitis. And it's pretty much under control. If you look at my scalp, it looks pretty good um, because I use the medicated shampoo um, two or three times a week. And then I've actually started using conditioner now, just some organic conditioner. I'm not really picky on the brand as long as it's organic and doesn't have too many chemicals in it. So I'll do that maybe like, um, you know, when I wash. And I didn't start conditioning my hair until probably like the sixth month. Um, I just left it alone because my hair texture's um, curly and frizzy but pretty loose. Like it's not a super tight curl. So I the conditioner would have taken my locks out so I didn't start conditioning until like the sixth month so but now I do it pretty regularly and besides that in terms of um, oil I will put a little bit of um, nature's blessing in my hair it's awesome if you don't know or never tried this stuff you should look it up you can buy it online it's just called nature's blessing it's green it's all natural it's awesome and then I've cheated a little bit in terms of being all natural I really like the um, Carol's daughter hair honey it smells amazing it's like this orangey cinnamony just amazing smell and so I've started to um, use that sometimes um, just because I like the smell, but it's not natural or anything at all. Um, but that's pretty much it. And um, so I've stuck to that routine. And in terms of updates or things that have changed, so now I was counting the days. This is like I'm in my 10th month now, heading towards the 11th month. So on August 4th will be the 11th month of me having my dress. And I'm like so excited because... This is the longest I've stuck to anything um, when it comes to my hair. Um, besides going natural, I went natural when I was like 18, like no perms or um, straightening and stuff like that. So I've done that for like, gosh, that's over, uh, it's a long time. <laughs> but uh, so that's, I've stuck to that, but I always used to change my hairstyle, dye my hair, um, do all kinds of stuff to my hair. Um, styles and braids and twists and everything you think of. So for me to like not touch my hair outside of keeping it clean and moisturized is huge for me. Um, in my earlier videos I talked about the insecurity. Um, that's gone. I'm so happy to say that I haven't thought about being worried about how my hair looks in a long time. Um, Probably since I made that last video, I made a video like in my third or fourth month or something where I was like really concerned with how my hair was looking and how what people would think and just all that stuff and that's gone. I mean, I, I love it. I love the freedom of not having to always be worried about my hair. I love the freedom of not always thinking about hair products. I used to get stuck in the Target aisle for like, you know... <laughs> I don't even want to say how long it would be embarrassing. I'd be sitting, standing in the Target aisle for like 20, 30 minutes just looking at products, you know. And I'm so happy that that's not a part of my life anymore. I just feel like it's helping me focus on what's really important to me by not spending so much time thinking about like my hair and um, external things. So that's been really helpful because I'm just doing a lot of self-work right now and it just takes one more thing off my plate um let's see so that's a huge one that's like an internal uh growth where i'm just like 
totally feeling great and my family and friends have been nothing but supportive so I think it was also good for me to have that because I'm starting my own business right now and it's scary to you know go out there and say hey I have something you know unique and you should pay attention to me and um and just trust that that's gonna get me ready to go and so I feel like doing this with my hair was kind of like a symbolic way of of also pushing myself out there and being vulnerable and being like this is who I am in the raw sense and like you know accept me or not and I'm gonna be okay and so my friends have been really like really supportive just like you know congratulations you know happy for me and um and I live in Oakland and there's tons of dreadheads in Oakland like Oakland is just like you know one of those places that's just a mecca if you want to be you know around other folks who are you are trying to be natural and healthy and all that and pride of pride in who they are so you know I'll be walking down the street and people are just like you know love your dreads and so that just feels good um so let's see in terms of my actual hair like I said I haven't changed my routine too much but if you notice I don't know if you can tell it's actually gotten a lot longer um I looked at that eight month because my boyfriend keeps telling telling me your hair is not growing it's you know it's so short and I'm just like you're not paying attention because I looked at that eight month video and this like this one lock was like half the size. It was like a fat little chunky thing, you know, that was like this short. <laughs> and now it's just completely lengthened out. You can see it's well formed. And most of this, like from here to there, is probably like new growth, like all that. And I can see it's so exciting. I can see where you probably can't see that, but as the hair grows in, I can see where it's like weaving into the lock. And that's so cool to me. It's so cool just to think that nature just does this on its own and I didn't have to do anything. And, you know, I see people who are constantly like palm rolling and separating and doing all this stuff to the hair. And I'm like, wow, you know, who would have thought that your hair will just do that on its own? You don't actually have to do anything so dramatic. Um, I separate my hair, you know, not super often. It's not very intensive. I don't have parts. I don't have any kind of parts. So these locks are formed off, off of the um, natural texture of my hair. So my curl is pretty big. And I think that's why my locks came out pretty thick. And it's just a spiral and they just locked onto each other. And, and all I do every now and then I just go like this. That's it. Every now and then. Not like in a systematic way, not on a certain date, not every other week, just whenever, you know. So I'll show you the rest of the hair. So, um, let's see. Oh my god, it's big. So, I'm comparing it to the other video, and my hair is a lot bigger. Um, when it's down like this, I guess you can't tell how much it's grown because it doesn't look like long. It's more like growing big which is how my hair is when my hair wasn't locked same thing it doesn't grow down it grows out so I'm the kind of person that'll have those like huge froze um, that's me <laughs> if you've ever seen the old pictures of Beyonce when she was like in Fox she was like what was that movie the Austin Powers whatever that's my, how my hair is it's kind of a big curl, but like huge. Um, and so it doesn't surprise me that my locks are growing this way. So you can I have no parts, as you can see. Um, this is how I can tell my growth, though. Because like this hair was probably like up here, and then now it's down here. Some of them, I like this, are like having some loose hairs at the end, with some little curls coming out. But yeah, you can see my curl pattern there. See how that is? It's kind of a bigger, looser kind of. Curl. That's how my hair is. Um, but I think that's cute. I like it. I like that the hair is coming out. I like that it's messy. Um, I have this one lonely skinny one up here. Right there. That's funny to me. But the rest of them are pretty fat. Um, my boyfriend is like a huge reggae fan. So um, he was showing me some old Bob Marley pictures of how like they, I was, he's like, you look like Bob Marley. And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> I could see it like he had like you know his were really wild really free-formed so I'm just at this point where I just really love it um 
and yeah, and I like that it's more full, you know, I'm someone who's always had a lot of big hair, long, big hair, because my hair will grow super long, um, my hair has grown all the way down to, like, the my lower back before, um, but again, it's, like, huge, you know, and it was always kind of a challenge for me to maintain it naturally, because there's just so much hair, and it's so thick, and, um, but I loved having long hair, even with all the work. So I'm excited for my dreads to be finally growing because I've really missed having hair um, just all my life. You know, that's how people remember me. Like, oh, yeah, Candace with the hair. Like, that's just part of my identity at this point. So it feels good to be, um, you know, growing it back out. And eventually, you know, it'll be long. And I'm excited to have long dreads one day and... I think they'll be pretty awesome. Um, let's see. The only last thing I want to say, because my time is running out, is that I had one problem. One thing came up for me in this past uh, month of dreads, and that is having a little bit of a funky smell. And I was shocked because I washed my hair, like, religiously two to three times a week so my hair was clean that wasn't what was making it smell and I think you know where I'm going with this I wasn't letting it dry out all the way and so I started getting that little funky old water smell OMG um, thank God my boyfriend told me and so the solution to that was one I did an apple cider vinegar uh, rinse and I'm gonna put the recipe and the link down there if you haven't tried if you have tried it before you know how awesome it is if you haven't tried it before um try it and it completely cleaned my hair like completely rid my hair of any type of smell um you soak your hair basically for like 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes in a solution of apple cider vinegar baking soda and some people put like lemon and salt i didn't put that in mine i put um essential oils i put like 10 drops of um tea tree oil amazing it smelled so good um and then after you do that uh yeah that's it you just rinse it out and the water some people had like black water when you rinse it out it's nasty uh, my hair was clean so like after I did it the water only changed color like a little bit so I was felt good my hair wasn't dirty it was just that mildew smell and it completely cleaned that out completely wiped it out um, it was amazing. And then I made a, a, a effort to completely dry my hair. Um, and I talked to a woman who, one of my friends has had dreads for like 10 years. And she told me that um, for her, in her um, first year of locking was when she had the problems with smell and that it went away. So I'm excited that maybe it's just for now, just a temporary thing. It might not be like something I have to deal with forever, just like as my hair is starting to mature in the locks, they're starting to hold water in a different kind of way. So um, hopefully this phase won't last forever, but apple cider vinegar was the solution. So I'm adding that to my routine. Um, they said don't do it too much because it's drying. So like every other month, get in there, vinegar it out. And then I actually went and hung out by the lake and uh, let my hair sun dry, air dry all the way. And now it smells amazing. <sighs> my boyfriend keeps smelling my hair. He's like, oh, it smells so good. Yeah, because I put the um, tea tree oil and then, yep, a little bit of my um, hair honey. So I'm just going to show the back and then my 15 minutes is up. So thank you for watching, thank you for my subscribers, that was really cool to me, I was like, oh my god, I have subscribers, so thank you guys for, yeah, for just following me, and hopefully you'll keep following me, and if you sub me, I sub you back, so take care, peace, um, yeah, take care of yourselves.